So, hello guys. Uh, in the last part of this exercise, we end up here on the load definition for generated cases. So let's define this load. Let's go to robot. Press here. Go to bar. Select the linear load with this value. Oh, I'm sorry. First of all, notice that this is for the case number two. I don't want this, I want the dead load here. Let's go here and define the dead load. Here you can see you can see that it has changed. Now let's select this minus three, add, and add this load to the bars on the external envelope, which are one, two, six, and seven. Apply. Okay, there we go. Now let's pick live load one. Also define which uh, define the load, which will be a nodal load. The X will be 10 kN and the Z will be minus 100 kN. Let's add this and apply this load and also apply this load to node number 6 and 18. Number 6 and 18. I could select this node graphically, okay? 6 and 18, as you may see here. Now we need to define, let me close this. Now we need to define the snow wind load generation. Let's go to loads menu, wind and snow, wind and snow 2D, 3D. Let's press the auto button for the envelope, okay? Total depth field will be 30 meters and here will be 6 meters okay we'll need to press the parameters button and on we will use the default parameters here as they say in the exercise as you may see here as you may see here they ask us to use the default parameters okay we won't waste more time here just press generate select this one or all okay and okay now we can close this and you may check here the all the load cases generated for this 2d frame now let's combine these load cases in an automatic way. Let's go to load menu, automatic combinations. Okay, let's select the full automatic combinations. We will have a lot of combinations as you may see here. 9405 combinations will be a lot of combinations. Let's go to more. Only we are going to turn off this one here and also this one here. Now we'll press generate. Okay, the combinations will only be generated after we run the calculation, I guess. Let me run the calculation and OK. Loads combination table. There we have our combinations grouped here. As you may see, you may limit state combinations. We have Oh my god, a lot of combinations, as you may see, from this table. Let me close this. Now we can check. Uh, let's go to the results menu and go to stresses. And uh, we may ask here 
as they as they as they say in the exercise we can go to global extremes and ask for which are the global uh, extreme stresses here and uh, in which of the case now they ask us to save the structure I'm going to save it file save as I'm just going to call it frame error code 3 I'm going to save so uh, in the next part we will be doing or we will do the elastoplastic analysis okay so uh, once again thank you for watching